across the statistics, you have different types of variables. When you're talking about the variables, you either deal with discrete variable or continuous variable. We say that a variable is discrete if it is countable. Like what? Like the numbers of students sitting in this class. The number of students in this class. A variable is continuous if it's uncountable. Like the area of the classroom. You can measure the area, but you cannot count it. The area of the class. For each one of these variables, they have probability distribution. A random variable is denoted by x. For a discrete random variable, one famous probability is related to binomial experiment and binomial probability. Later on, we're going to talk about continuous random variable and continuous probability, which is normal. So for now, our focus is on binomial experiment and binomial probability. Very good. So let us define a binomial probability for you. When it comes to binomial probability, you have an experiment, and that experiment fits into some of important categories. So let's write it down for you here. Binomial distribution. And the example, let me pull up the note. Binomial experiment is a probability experiment that satisfies the following condition. The very first condition is the experiment has a fixed number of tries. Numbers of tries, which would denote by n. There are only two possible outcomes. There are only two possible outcomes. It's either a success or it's a failure. Remember one example, like a surgery. You either have a successful surgery or a failed sur surgery, not both of them at the same time. Three, the probability of success, probability of success, is the same in all tries. And finally, the random variable x is a discrete random variable which counts the number of successes. Is a discrete random variable that counts the number of successes. Very good. So the probability of success is denoted by P and Q is the probability of failure, which is one minus P. 
when we say that x counts the number of successes, x can be zero. It means that you have no success at all. That makes sense. X can be one, one success. X can be two, it can be three, four, five, and it can take at most n successes. So when it comes to binomial experiment, the formula for probability is a crazy looking formula p of x, which is equal to n factorial divided by n minus x factorial times x factorial p to the x 1 minus p to power n minus x. Luckily for us, our calculator has this function built into it. We just need to know how to use the calculator to calculate the probability related to binomial experiment.